Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, and we're back with some more Kerbal Space Program. And it turns out I have two flights in progress. Apparently the flag counts as a flight, so let's go ahead and recover that. And I have my uh, manned space prober that exploded when I stepped out of it and started walking into the ocean. So we're going to go ahead and recover that. I assumed we wouldn't get science. We're up to 34 science already, which is phenomenal. And we're going to start looking at getting that satellite up in space, which is what we were trying to do last time. But it turned out what we made for it was a little bit too heavy. So I'm going to go with... Oh, which one was it? The ICS 2K sat station? I think this is the one I made for that purpose. Yep. And this one was unable to make it up there because the midsection, this bit here, was far, far too heavy. I pumped way too much fuel into this bad boy. Just absolutely unnecessary amounts of fuel. So I'm going to take off two of those and then hook it back up. And I think that's going to do a lot better because it's that there. Release, release. Jettison. Oh, wait. And I need to. S okay. I need to switch. I'm missing. I'm messing up on something. What, what is this? There's that one. Then there is. That one. Wait, are there. Engines between both of these? Yes. Yes, there are. Oops. I can't undo that. Oh, I can. Cool. So, I don't know why I did that. This. Why well, I have, like, so many separate burn stages here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and actually get rid of this. And we're just gonna bring it down to a much simpler amounts of stages. We got that. We've got our jet down there. We got our disconnect. We got our disconnect there. And then we have that engine, the disconnect, and our last engine for re-entry. And, uh, yeah. Let me make sure I've got all my action groups set. Yep, 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 yep. Good to go. Let's save this, and we'll give it a shot. See if we can get this bad boy into orbit. Um, this is the one where we went into a very, like... like deep orbit that didn't work <laughs> so let's see what we can get done hmm okay we're just spinning away we're gonna go ahead and burn that liquid fuel as well oh yeah I forgot this is the one that spun like crazy for some weird reason can I can I not do this? Is that a thing we can do? Oh my god, this is intense. I think it stabilizes out a little bit once we burn the solid fuel. Oh my god, we're spinning so fast. Okay, I just need to stabilize a little. There we go. Because I want to come... There we go. I want to start angling, like about a 45, give or take. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. That thing flying back down at me. Okay, we need to go this way. So we're kind of fighting against the gravity, I believe. Um. Okay, we're just wiggling ran like wildly at this point. I want to get back on a 45 degree angle. Like, that's going to be our most efficient way to deal with this. There we go. Much better. And we're just kind of trying to stay... There we are. There we go. Much better. We're going to go ahead and cut our fuel down a little. Since we are in the upper atmosphere. I don't need to be burning as much fuel. And that's a big problem I've been having. I've been, like, like full burning when I really don't need to. Here we go. 
Okay, up, 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 up. Okay, now we're going to switch to the map screen real quick. Pop that bad boy up so we can actually see. And... Yeah, we need that to be much higher. Let's cut back to a 45 again. Get some more height here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm screwing it all up. Oh, crap. That is... going down we need, we need that number to go up we need that number to go up higher okay screw it let's burn this way I'm still learning like the concept behind some of this stuff I think we're just gonna oh god okay now I'm no longer able to control my ship oh that is because my liquid fuel was at empty. Because I'm bad. There we go. So that probably just screwed up everything. Yeah, we're kind of heading towards the surface a little bit. Oh, what's this one do? I need to learn more about like the basic mechanics of the game. I need Flower Child linked a wiki that apparently should help. So I'm going to go look into that at some point. What's going on here? I'm trying to understand what I'm doing. Mm. Let's see if we can adjust this at least. Oops. So that we at the very least land in water so we can take some samples there. That'd be cool. I also want to land on this the ice cap at some point. I can't believe how close I was to it and missed it last time. So, here we go. Oh, we are in re-entry. Okay, so... Yep. Didn't do that well on the whole logic of this one. This is a pretty big failure. Not gonna, not gonna mince words here. And slow ourselves down here. Burn against the surface. This is one of my more like m more enjoyable ways I find to land. Slow yourself down this manner. And going what? What are we doing? Like sixty meters, less than sixty meters a second without our parachutes deployed. That amuses me greatly. Okay, we're almost out of liquid fuel, so... We're now starting to speed up. Okay, if I can manage to land this bad boy... Like, ah, uh, yeah, no data here. Without the bottom part popping off, which might be hard without lander legs, I'd be real happy. Yeah, none of this is useful, because I'd like to be able to get goo data from whatever this is. Mountain, I believe? Okay, so we're going to speed it up a little. And we're going to cut it down soon. Come on. Come on, deploy. Parachutes. Please deploy parachutes. I, I wonder if it's going to pop off. Like, this bottom half might just pop the hell off when my parachutes actually deploy. No, it didn't. So that's good. That's whether or not they can survive touching the ground. Okay. I mean, this isn't a complete waste. I didn't get the probe up there. I mean, there's still a bunch of good science I can gain from this. There we go. Perfect. And it landed perfectly. This is a beautiful device. I love it. Uh, Kerbin Highlands. Ooh, we don't have Kerbin Highlands yet. Transmit, transmit, transmit. Transmit all the data. Now, the issue here is we are going to run out of uh, solar real quick. And it doesn't appear to be night. So we're not going to get... Oh, no, I mean, it doesn't appear to be day. So 
We're gonna have to wait till day to get the rest of it back. I am gonna transmit pretty much all of this till it stops giving me science. Um, once I run out of energy, I'll switch it to off camera mode and we'll do the rest of the sciencing. And then I'll be back. I just love when they turn to these little science buggy things. It amuses me. Science station deployed. Okay, that's really killing me. Okay, do that sciencing. Does, I wonder if doing the experiments themselves use uh, energy. I'll wait for this transmission to finish and see. Okay, so transmission's done. Okay, it doesn't appear doing the... It, it doesn't appear that, um, whatever, the things themselves use science. So that's good. This is the most, like, ramshackle looking piece of crap ever. I love it. But at this point, we're going to have the fight against the electric charge. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back. And we are back. Uh, finished up all the science there and ended up with 50 science coming out of that, which I don't think is enough to buy anything. Well, I guess I could get general construction. Oh my god, that is the tri-stack coupler. I want this. Let's go ahead and pick... Oh, but do I want it? Really? Because I also want this other thing, this thermometer, to get more science. We're going to go with it. See what else it unlocks. We got advanced construction, which is fuselage, new decouplers, adapters, new fuel tank, detachment manifold. Okay. And that unlocks aerodynamics as well. So that works. Um, I really want this. The advanced electrics. They're super cool. I really like them. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's start. To, let's, you know, let's put together something new. Let's just have fun with this one. Um, new. Uh, okay. Do Let's do unmanned because I do still want to get a satellite. And that's kind of what we're aiming for here. And let's figure out, like... What is this? Okay, weighted wheels that spin very quickly to add assistive torque to the spacecraft the cost of electrical charge. Okay. So I, I need the science junior here. Actually, I want some of these two battery banks. Once again, we're doing that whole deal. Let's try this inline reaction wheel and then the science. I kind of feel like that shouldn't be on the very top. Like, it shouldn't be in the, our last piece. Um, we are going to need a fuel tank. So we'll take the small fuel tank here. We're kind of building a very standard thing. These radio liquid mount engines are kind of cool. How big are these? Like, what, what kind of thrust do these put out? These put out 320 in vacuum, 290 at sea level. And these put out... 390 in vacuum, 300 in sea level. Those are actually really nice engines. Okay. Uh, okay. Now the stack decoupler. Cool. So we got that bit taken care of. Um, next, I want another fuel tank and another one of these poodle engines. Is that called the poodle? No. I'm making that up. Another one of the ones that's good in vacuum. Because I feel like that's been holding us back. Using... We can use that better one there. Another one of these guys. And what do we have here? Now, this has been my big question. Okay, no. I wasn't sure. We need a decoupler here. What am I thinking? If this could f um, fuel, and apparently no, it cannot. You can't put fuel through that. So let's take these big fuel tanks. And we're going to use three liquid engines to blast this ba uh, this baby off. So, these are going to be these ones. Oh, apparently you can't just do that and symmetry mode those on. There's our three launch off engines. Cool. And radial decouplers. I wonder if these are going to be like... Hmm... I wonder if these are going to be far enough out. Like, I think if I put them there, so they're kind of on the edges, I can now use these solid fuel boosters there. That should do it. I also feel like this is going to fall over on the uh, launch pad. I hate putting these pieces, like, low. It never works right. 
There we go. That's a bit better. Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't even know what I was trying to do there. Like, you never put them in the right spot. Ugh. Get on there. Um... There we go. They always, like, snap upwards, and it's super frustrating. Like, they have to be held in the middle. Ah, uh, whatever. That is not right. This is, like, my one frustration with building in Kerbal Space Program. Okay. Like, I, I cannot get these things to connect. Come on. Work with me here, game. Are those even on there? I mean, I, I guess we'll find out. They don't really look like they're on there. Whatever. We're going to hope for the best and see what happens. Okay. Now, I'm not going to bother bringing this baby home. So we're just going to put on three goo containers. Um... put on another three battery packs we're gonna put on a ton of solar panels like two stacks of these bad boys this one we're not even caring about bringing it home this is purely well, let's put on another set here since it looks cool oh wait maybe these would fit on better if I did the other snap why are they deciding to go on upside down these are upside down aren't they Look, what is what is this shenanigans there we go so that would explain most of the troubles I was just having. Uh, okay. Hmm. Now these things are such a pain. This is why I never use this type. I always use the ones that were flush mounted. Though in this case, it's just not going to work to flush mount that. Oh my god. Did I put this on up upside down again? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it purely with the liquid boosters. What I am going to do, though, is make each of the liquid boosters a bit taller. We'll do a double stack in each of these guys. Okay, what is this even doing? Oh, I have symmetry mode on. This thing is being a right pain in the ass right now. Okay, screw you. Get out of here. This is being the biggest pain in the butt to build. Snap is all weird and like, is that even or is it even connecting? Look at that. Get in there. Okay. Whew. This is ridiculous. What the I feel like this whole ship is going to explode just immediately. I really do. You know what? I feel this way so strongly. I'm just going to go ahead and launch it and not give it a name. Whew. We'll see how it goes. It might just fall over on the launch pad. It's pretty wiggly. Oh. Whoops. Oops. Let's 
so... That was a grand old failure. A grand old failure. Huh. Huh. Oh! Tactically it still works. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yep. And I think that's it for this episode with that epic failure. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.